Monster Sanctuary is a game that is not even out yet, and those will kind of give me a key to check out the current version. And what we have here is a very impressive idea, combining Metroidvania design with Pokemon. And if that doesn't get a lot of people excited, I don't know what will. Now the footage that you're going to be seeing from this video is from a pre, I guess, alpha build. They were planning on doing another big release of their early builds in August. So what you see may not represent the current version of the game or the free demo that is available. But the game itself combines again these various systems into its own unique take on design. The story is that, well, you're trying to be the very best at monster collecting. And to do that, you're going to explore, fight monsters, raise your own, and try to become the best, I guess, a quote unquote trainer there is. But the gameplay is split between exploration and combat. The exploration plays out like your typical 2D platformer, as you'll look for treasure, get around, solve puzzles, and so on. When you run to an enemy, you will initiate combat. Your pool of monsters is taken from up to six, but a party can only be up to three characters. Every monster has its own strengths, weaknesses, and attack types, and you're going to have to try and figure out the best party combination to deal with the enemies. One thing that you're not going to see in this video is that there are champion enemies. These are kind of like the boss battles, and they are used to unlock progress and upgraded rankings. But your general rule is that you want to obviously hit enemies with their weaknesses and get through combat as quickly and as effortlessly as possible. Now, what you're seeing right here, this is an early play, so it's only really like two on two. But the monsters themselves are all varied, and the version that I played is on the limited side. Like, there's obviously not going to be every monster in the game in it. But once you've completed combat, you'll get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. The higher the rating, the greater the chance of rare loot. And that rare loot can also come in the form of getting an egg. And that egg will be a new monster that you can use. Every monster also has their own skill tree. That, as you can see, goes up in terms of level. And this unlocks either new abilities, passives, or synergies with other characters. And this is definitely where some of the complexities of Monster Sanctuary come into play. You can use kind of like the Magma Pillar to cause fire damage and create kind of like a little shield around your other party members. And then there's characters who get buffs and other bonuses like that. And the other side of the game is the Metroidvania exploration. Every monster comes with a special ability or movement tech that can aid you in going around the world. And you'll do this either to get to new areas or find gear as gear can be equipped on all the monsters and provides them with additional stats. This is important because certain attack types basically are spec towards either the attack value or the magic value. And the game definitely hints that there is more abilities that become unlocked as you play through the game. They may be either tied to a specific monster or just a passive that you get going forward. So, with that said, there is certainly a lot to like about Monster Sanctuary, and really doesn't leave me with too many complaints right now, especially with the game still so far or still so much in development. But we'll talk about that one next after a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters and sponsors. And now for a quick thank you to our Patreon backers, as well as to our current Game Wisdom sponsors. And if you'd like to continue this discussion on game design, be sure to check out our Discord channel, link down below. If you're a fan of Game Wisdom and looking for a little bit of collectible swag, anyone who donates $25 or more via Super Chat or on Patreon.com slash will get your hands on this lovely little Josh box. This is a hand detail box that comes with a USB drive containing 10 hours of some of my favorite podcasts done throughout the years. This is only available for the month of April 2019. Afterwards, we'll have to weigh in and see if people want more Josh boxes in the future. So if you're interested, be sure to get those donations in now before this offer runs out. Even at this early stage, Monster Sanctuary shows a lot of potential. 
and doesn't leave me with any real major issues to talk about now. The only thing I would really just say is I wish the combat animations were just a little bit faster, but that's about it. I can't really go too much into detail as so much of the game is still not well developed yet, and most of you watching this probably can't see a lot of this stuff now, as it's not in the demo. But this is certainly a game to keep an eye out for. It does a great job of combining these various systems together, and it works very much in that chocolate and peanut butter kind of variety. The only other nitpick I can even think about right now is I could see equipment getting a little bit tricky to manage when you start having a lot of characters and uh, gear to swap around. But again, there's still plenty of time to see how that all plays out. With all that said, we're going to wrap things up here. I would definitely like to thank the developers for giving me a press key to check this one out. Again, if you want to play Monster Sanctuary, there is a free demo available from the Steam Store page, but it is different from the version that I am playing. And if you'd like me to tickle your game in the future, please don't hesitate to get in touch. But otherwise, check back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we simply are in science of games. But that's going to do it for Monster Sanctuary, and I will see you all next time. If you're looking for a book on design, my first title, 20 Essential Games to Study, is out now. It is available where most books are sold, and it comes in paper, hardcover, or digital copies. This is the perfect book for anyone interested in learning about game design, whether you are a student, enthusiast, or just a fan. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy things, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days. Check out our Discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design, and come back later tonight for our regular streamings. But that's it, and tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.